Okay, but brackets in these calculations to make them correct. Um, well, I'll try it here first. Five take away three, it's two times by 12, 24, divided by four is six. That's good, but put it into your calculator to check that it's right. If I put six times by four plus that, no, that's, net, that's only gonna get me up to 24 plus something. That won't be there. So let's try putting it around there. Do that on a calculator. Six times brackets, four plus three squared. So that will be a nine, 13, six. If I do that on a calculator, I get 216. Well, that's not that's not enough. And I've got to go and take away five. I need to get bigger than that. I need to somehow do something which is bigger. So six times by four plus three squared minus five. I've got to get a bigger number than that. So I'm going to have to do more than six times. I'm going to have to put the brackets there. Six times then four plus three. That's seven squared. And six times forty-nine. Take that's right. That's the one. It's not in that place there. We need the brackets around the four plus three and before the squared sign, and then that will work. But just to keep on trying it, and you've got a calculator. This one, do it on a calculator, use the fraction button, which hopefully you know where that is, and just type it in so it looks exactly like this, and that gives me 10.625. Always write down what the calculator says. Give it to two decimal places, that means I need two numbers after the decimal point. The next number is a five, so I'll have to round it up. So that'll be 10.63 to two decimal places. And that's 11 done.